Hey guys, it's Comic Uno, and today I'm doing Green Lantern issue 3. So let's see what's going on in this issue and the cover. Let's talk about everything. So uh, let's talk about the cover first. Uh, I like the concept of the cover because it's exactly what happened. Uh, Green Lantern, he is trying to defeat his own Sinestro core. So Sinestro is trying to defeat his old core because he wants to try to save his planet. Now the only thing I didn't really like is the art that much because I felt like there's so many lines on everybody for some reason. You can see that up closely. I didn't love the art for the cover, but I did like the concept. But I don't know, I wasn't, I don't think I was a big fan of the cover. So uh, let's talk about the issue and see what went on, let's see. Not the story and everything, let's see. So first we get to see Sinestro and Hal, they're talking. And... Hal says, all right, I'll help you. Let's, I just need to talk to Carol. I, I, I mean, because in, the, I think, the first issue, they didn't leave off the best way. Because, like, oh, I had a fight with her. Let me just talk to her because I don't know if I'm coming back. Who knows? He says, no. Like, I control you. Like, Sinestro's like, no. I control your rank. I could do anything. You're following me. Uh, you're not doing that. We have to go save my planet. And Hal's like, all right, whatever. So they go to their planet, and they have this whole plan, and, uh, Hal has the Green Lantern, and the weakness of the Sinestro Four is the Green Lantern. Lantern, uh, yeah. So he he has to bring the Green Lantern into their source power of the Yellow Lantern. So exactly plan, but they're gonna try to sneak in and try to do it. So they're like behind a rock, looking at like the Sinestro Core being abusive to the home planet of Sinestro. So. Sinestro says, don't do anything. To Hallie says, don't do anything. We have to stick to the plan no matter what. And then Sinestro sees Rosanna, I guess someone he's close to. And he jumps in and he says, I, I have to go. And he tries to save them. So his cover is blown. But Hal goes to the Yellow Lantern and he tries to defeat the Sinestro Corps. So... He goes to put the Green Lantern in the Yellow Lantern, and let's just say things didn't go as planned, because he goes into the Yellow Lantern, and he disintegrates. So, was that Sinestro's plan? Did he not tell Hal what was going to happen for a reason? Because he says, oh, don't worry, it's just going to it's just gonna ruin the Sinestro core. But did he know that Hal was going to die because of this? And who knows if Hal is dead? So I think that cliffhanger was really great and uh, made this issue great. And something I love about Green Lantern and pretty much these three issues that we've had from the DC reboot is that the story is flowing so much. Like, there's the story, it just flows as a story. Because some comics, it's like nothing happens in an issue or not the best cliffhanger or just like, oh, nothing really happened in this issue. Or it's just like some issues just aren't that great and doesn't make the story flow that much but with Green Lantern it's been flowing great and with each issue we have great story and great development of characters uh, like Sinestro and Hal we, we get to see them confront each other and seeing that Sinestro is more powerful than Hal I think Hal is upset about that and then like I said this cliffhanger was amazing can't wait to see what happens next can't wait until the next episode uh, the next issue because of that so uh, I think that's what makes comic books great, and I think that's something that a big point is to make you want to buy the next issue. And a cliffhanger like that makes me want to buy the next issue, and that's what makes a great comic. It makes me want to buy the next issue. So definitely a great issue. We even saw Carol a little. She's one of my favorite characters, so I thought that was great. And um, maybe she'll become, well, not become because she's already... Uh, Star Sapphire, but maybe she'll put on her ring again and try to save Hal. Who knows what's gonna happen? All I know is I can't wait till the next issue. Like I said, um, Green Lantern I think has been a great series so far. And if you haven't been following up, I think you should pick up the last two issues to pick this issue up because it's really a great story and it's flowing greatly. Like I said, and uh, I can't wait till the next issue. Now the only bad thing I had in this issue was there was one point where, like I said, that Sinestro was pretty much saying, you can't do anything about it. Like, I, I could control you because without me, you don't have your ring. So he he's, he says to Hal, so Jordan, I'm better than you. And you already know that. Come on now, enough fooling around. And then, you know, you would think, and it was actually just like one panel. It says, like him just staring, like, you know, uh, you're not better than me. 
But it's like, in that moment, I felt like Hal's like got punched Sinestro in the face, but that never really happened. So I think as if Hal does survive, for, which I think he will, um, if he does survive from that yellow lantern, I think he's going to definitely like punch Sinestro in the face and say, you know what, I am better than you. Because after he uh, saves Sinestro's planet, Hal could use his ring as Sinestro and pretty much blackmail him anymore. So he'll have his Green Lantern ring freely. So I really can't wait till the next issue. But it was a pretty good issue. I say four and a half. Again, didn't really love the art for the cover. Really liked the art for the inside because with Green Lantern, love the colors of everything with Green Lantern. So definitely great art inside. But I didn't really love the cover art. And again, I felt like how would have punched Sinestro. So that was kind of out of character, I felt like. So something should have happened in that scene a little differently, in my opinion. But this issue was really great, and I've been loving this series. One of my favorite for the DC reboot, and I can't wait until the next issue. So I give this four and a half stars. I say pick it up. And also, uh, just want to remind you guys, my Twitter, my link for my Twitter is on the description below if you want to follow me to get news about my videos, uh, new video reviews coming up, and uh, topic videos and stuff. Just news about my videos. If you want to follow me on Twitter, description the on the description below is the link. And also, if you want to follow my other channel, The Random Situations, to talk about my upcoming videos on there, uh, follow me. So, this is Comic Guno, and I hope you enjoyed, and I give this four and a half, and I say pick it up. See ya.